Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy is in intent immediately and permanently. <laughs> I call in only the prayers of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Oh, okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so there's like some, it's like a lot of projection that is going on. And I feel like it's because there is somebody in the background of you that is not having such a good time. Someone has been doing something for a long time thinking that it was going to have some type of situation go in their favor. So this is literally somebody trying to like uh, have you living in fear and anxiety. Like it could be even something where it's like there are like witches getting together and doing some type of ritual to project a lot of like negative energy to a light worker, but it's not working. Um, I, I When I sat down here to do this read, I heard like something about them projecting negative energy onto you so that you can manifest some type of horrendous situation for you, for your life, okay? So it's like someone is doing something repeatedly, uh, trying to project a lot of anxiousness, a lot of fear, anxiety, and things of that nature onto you. So then when you feel that, energy of scarcity, you end up thinking that you're going to end up in some type of situation where, you know, like you got nothing, nobody or something like that. You're just kind of out in the cold, right? But this is not your energy. This is somebody projecting because there's, there's, there's like a disconnection between what I'm feeling um, and that energy, it's like there's a disconnection. Something is missing. So I don't think this is your energy. I think this is, this is somebody else. Like somebody's living in fear. Uh, somebody is living with a lot of anxiety. I don't know if, if it's about the truth coming out or them being seen in a specific light or something not going in their favor, them not receiving an opportunity, something being balanced out, them not receiving a love offer. It's something like that, but it's a lot of projection that someone else is sending towards you. Say, I'm feeling anxious. You got a few inches, but I feel like I saw something with like three old witches doing something like doing some type of ritual where it's supposed to, like supposed to like disturb your energy, disturb your peace. But I don't feel like it's going according to plan. Um, it's like you're supposed to be. Like, you should be losing your mind right now. You should be, like, afraid. Like, life is upside down. What's going to happen to me? Like, you're not supposed to be happy or content. You're not supposed to be smiling. You're supposed to be miserable and things like that. But it's like, that's not what's happening. So, it's like something is not going accordingly. So, somebody may be getting desperate behind the scenes. And somebody may be trying to come physically into your energy with some type of disingenuine genuine extension of an olive branch so that you can uh, be stuck in your mind. So basically, you got like a knight of cups that's either being sent to you or is coming to you to confuse you uh, about your work. They want you to leave your work out in the cold. They want you to, they're hoping that you're going to see things from their perspective. So the knight of cups is typically people that can be very romantical, very like a uh, 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 passionate um and caring charming and things like that but a lot of the times they can like come into your energy just to gaslight you these can be people that are very immature emotionally they're really usually coming towards you to just give you an offer for a reason and i feel like whoever and it's not it's not always for a genuine reason it's typically because there's something else there's some type there's something for them to gain when it comes to their connection with you okay and i feel like whoever 
whoever is behind the scenes that's feeling anxious or whether it's this night of cups, they're definitely worried about some type of secret coming out right um when it comes to a queen of pentacles right uh having some type of connection with someone or disconnecting with an institution or something being balanced out for you whatever this is they're worried about you following your passion following your dreams staying focused so there may be some type of attempt to distract you or make it really hard for you to focus on work but it's like you're still showing up consistently so it's like it doesn't matter what it is that they do you're still going to show up so i don't know if you work with these people at a company or you you do social media you sell products you have your own business like you're still showing up consistently so whatever rhetoric they're doing is not working it's like it's kind of like putting pouring water into a a, a a bucket with a hole in it it's just going to keep pouring through right it's what they're doing so they're putting effort into something that's not leading anywhere because you're still going to keep showing up you're still going to keep producing you're still going to keep uh, uh, uh creating and things like that um so this knight of cups may be coming towards you to confuse you because there is still efforts there are still efforts being made behind the scenes to stop you to stop you from having a new beginning, to cause manipulations, to sabotage you and things like that. But you are very much protected because there's some type of epiphany going on behind the scenes. There is some type of realization going on that something is just not right. Uh, something that's been done has been exposed and there's no way to hide it. I think someone was doing something for a long time thinking that they were going to keep hiding it. So basically someone was more than likely stealing from you while hiding you. So it's like, we're going to steal from this person, but we're going to act like they don't exist. Okay. And because I don't want anyone to see this person as the true empress or the person that is gifted or talented or skilled or whatever, we're going to hide them, them, and I'm going to keep pretending to be them. But some, like the cat is out the bag, is what I just heard. So there's something that has been exposed. So if someone has been, whoever has been doing whatever it is they've been doing to you, they're going through a bit of a rocky place right now. So it's that whatever reality they were trying to manifest for you, this eight of swords reality where you're feeling alone, cold, and rejected, or this is what they were hoping you will feel, it's what they are either going through or are about to be going through. So it's basically people distancing themselves from whoever this is because they don't want to be associated with the the reputation that this person has kind of manifested for for themselves is that um you know we'll hang with you if you're popular we'll hang with you if you are winning because whatever institution this is it has a lot to do or whatever community this is <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> whatever community this is it has a lot to do with having titles being prestigious uh who do you know having the best having a lot of money. It's kind of like the superficial mindset of things. And I don't think it's the whole institution. I think there's a group of people within this institution that has this mindset where it's like, it's all about the material things. Nothing about substance, nothing about morale, nothing about principle, nothing about ethics, nothing about character. It's all about the material things that they possess, right? So you have someone coming towards you to confuse you about your work. They want you to walk away from your work, leave your work out in the cold, um, more than likely leave a situation, maybe leave a home, leave, I don't know what it is, like leave something. They're working very hard to have you left out in the cold. Basically just sitting about hoping that life will get better, but uh, consistently being disappointed is what they want for you like they literally want you to walk away uh, but what's really coming towards you what you don't know is that your abundance is still intact whatever the universe has destined for you is still intact i'm talking about the empress to the seven of pentacles to the four of wands right here let me let me fix this because we're not about to let these people play with you honey we have the empress to the seven of pentacles to the freaking four of wands which means that you are still investing in the things that matter to you, your abundance, and you still have some type of promotion that's coming in. You still have some type of celebration coming in. You are still good. Okay, so it's that whatever someone has been doing is really for nothing. 
So let's say someone does not want you in a specific institution. Someone does not want you with a specific person. The universe will set up something else. If by any means it turns out that situation is not ideal for you. So they will have something better set up for you because you've put in the work. So it's like at the end of the day, whatever somebody is doing, it's kind of pointless. It's that wasting resources. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if like somebody, somebody's going from like the eight of pentacles to the five of pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. They're going from the eight of pentacles to the five of pentacles. So there's something they've been working really hard on that's not going to be returning anything to them. So all this investment, investing into tearing somebody else down, destroying somebody else's path, something that someone has worked on a lot, so that something can go in their favor. It's not going in their, it's not going in their favor. Excuse me for the repetition, um, because something is going to be balanced out for you in uh, Empress energy, the one in the upright. Uh, somebody else is about to be going through like a death, an ending. There could be like a, it, there's somebody that's sick behind the scene. And I, it, it, there could be like an Empress energy that is sick behind the scenes. And I'm not sure if this is like a mental illness. It got to be a mental illness too. If somebody is going to this extent and doing all this kind of immature behaviors, to block somebody else but i feel like there's another form of illness somebody may have and i don't know what this is but someone is definitely sick either maybe it's just uh they're sick to their stomach stick sick to their cores that you're going to be having this elevation in life okay there's a lot of anger being projected onto you, a lot of animosity. Just like I said, this Knight of Cups is coming towards you. This is not somebody genuine. We got the Knight of Cups to the Eight of Swords. We got the Knight of Cups to the Devil. So this is someone that's very, very obsessed, someone that's very angry, a lot of envious uh, energy. Uh, this could be someone that overindulges into activities that they probably should not be indulging into. Someone could even just be coming into your energy. To tempt you, we should go along with that eight of swords, which means that they are trying to manipulate you and get you to make the wrong decision. Is there, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, are you sure you want to sign this contract? Are you sure you want this deal? Are you sure you want to work with this person? But there are people behind this person. They're not coming off of their own will. Somebody is sending them. This is somebody that's just like them. But whatever this person is doing, it's going to be a failure. It's not leading to anything. Someone may not even make it to your energy. And if they do, it's just going to be a waste of time. Because you're going to see exactly what this person is doing. Someone is absolutely sick. Um, they are very sick. I don't know who this is that is sick, but somebody is sick behind the scenes. Someone may end up passing away as well. I don't know if this is like a surprise illness on somebody or someone has just lost control of their mental. This could be a, either an empress energy that is sick or it could be a queen of pentacles that is sick. That's, that's about to be going through some type of uh, like ending. Like if somebody was living like the good life, had access to unlimited resources, uh, some pretty good connections and things like that, like a very prestigious institution or some type of very successful business, all of that is coming to an end for them. And this has to do with the fact that they came after you. Um, you're the, the feather that broke the camel's back. So we got the Knight of Pentacles that may be coming in to tempt you. Someone is going to come in with a lot of passion, maybe try to you know, you, like like I said, tempt you, get you to get into some type of connection with them. And they're going to try to make it seem like it's something that is genuine. Um, this is someone with a lot of people, or with great people skills. So they know how to use their words, know how to come across as very nonchalant and things like that. But if you turn this person down, I, I guarantee you the true colors are going to come out. Maybe not in front of you then, but a little later. The true colors will come out. So be very careful of who's coming towards you. You need to focus on what it is. This, this. You know how light workers we are good at reading people. So yeah, hear what it is they're saying, but also hear what they're not saying. See what it is they're doing, but also see what they are not doing. Okay. So be very cautious with this person that's coming towards you. This is someone that's very focused on you, focused on manipulating your emotions. This is someone that's very materialistic that's coming towards you. A whole lot of like lustful energy is what they're coming towards you with. 
a whole lot of lustful energy. Uh, someone may even want to have like a one night stand with you. They find you to be very beautiful, but they don't have any genuine intent for you. Um, there may even be some. It may even be someone that's like. You know, like some people that are not really into love and things like that. It's off putting for them. They, they see it as something like that's that's like a weakness. This is somebody like 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 that. Like they just have a lot of obsession and things like that. So just be very cautious. Someone's very obsessed with trapping you. It's what I just heard. Someone's very obsessed with seeing you fail and things like that. But you're very committed to your your yourself, your core values. Your intellect, whatever it is, like your into, you listen to your intuition. There may be someone that's like angry about you having plans for your future. Like, I don't know what this is. This is just weird. The past several months have just been weird with these people. Like, somebody's angry that you have plans for your future. They have, they're angry that you know, like, what actions to take. To protect either your work, your mental, protect yourself from them. Because there's some form of ritual that's going on. It's just not working. So people may be getting frustrated behind the scenes. Someone may be confused trying to figure out what your plans are for yourself, your your, your work, where you go in, who are you going to be with. Like, someone is very confused. Someone's very mad. They're still manipulating behind the scenes. This is not just one person, though. It's a group of people doing this, trying to sabotage you, sabotaging your work, all kinds of stuff. They do not want you coming together with somebody. And it could be that somebody is an institution. It could be that somebody is like a business mogul. It could be that this somebody is someone that's interested in you romantically and professionally. Like they want to work with you. They want to love on you and work with you. So you got people just planning your ending and say, let's just wait when they come out of this home. Like you, you may have people plotting like when they come out of their house, we're going to do this. When they do this, we're going to do this. Like, but it's that whatever they do, it's not working. I, I know like a while back, I picked up on something where it's like someone did something and they were hoping that you will go a specific direction. Uh, I think I had used like a car analogy where it's like, you go this specific way every time when you go to go get your car fixed. One day your car tire gets busted or something, and now you got to take the car to get it fixed. But the direction you're supposed to go, there's a booby trap for you. So as soon as somebody sees you going that way to get the car tires fixed or whatever it is that's broken on your car, obviously if your car tires uh, get messed up, you got to call somebody to come to you to get it fixed or you get it towed, right? But I was just using that as an analogy. So on your way to get the car fixed, there's a booby trap. You get uh, you get ambushed or something, um, and not something horrendous. It's like it's supposed to be like a painful ending that was supposed to happen for you. They're reworking this painful ending, and the universe is going to expose to you what it is they're doing as well. You no, know, the new plan. Um, but you're supposed to be you know, ex having this painful ending where it's supposed to just destroy you. You don't want to work anymore. Like you just become like a, a, a shadow of yourself. What you used to be does not exist anymore. It just so happened that the universe may be exposed to you what these people's plans were. So you may have taken a different route or maybe you didn't leave your house at all. It's something like that. Okay. So just be careful. There's some new uh, plot to destroy you. It's like, it's like somebody wants to physically see you hurt. And this kind of person, it's not really a person anymore because like an entity has taken over this person's body. So you're not really dealing with somebody, with a person, you're dealing with an entity. It's like a devilish energy you're dealing with. Because whoever this is and the people that are working with them, they're not people, they're entities. Because People don't really do things like this. People have boundaries. People have limits on what they will do, how far they will go. These kind of people, these kind of beings that you are dealing with, they don't. So these are like reptilians, like the greys and things like that. Maybe you're dealing with some type of gray entity. Whatever this is, honey, we rebuke these people. We dismantle and we destroy our evil plans of them of theirs against you all's lives. Okay? 
But there is absolutely a plan to sabotage you. Basically, somebody wants you to be out in the cold, wants you to be homeless, no job, no nothing. Someone does not want you experiencing abundance, working very hard to cause you distress and heartbreak. But it's like whatever it is that they do is not working. It's not like someone wants to get some type of reaction out of you. They're no, never going to get is that oh are they angry yet no they're still moving forward are they uh sick yet no they're very healthy are they da, 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 da? no they're very good someone keeps getting bad news and their bad news is that you are okay nothing's happening to you nothing is going to happen to you things are being balanced out and this person is very angry like someone may be even throwing a fit behind the scenes because you you're fine you you're okay uh, someone may be angry at a contract that's coming towards you. A meeting is going to take place between you and somebody and you're going to receive a contract or some type of offer. They said, oh, this should not get like this should not get this offer. I don't think they're ready for this. Yet. No, that's not what it has to do with. It has to do with your insecurities. You need to go fix your insecurities and stop embarrassing yourself. It don't got nothing to do with somebody not being ready for something. It doesn't got nothing to do with somebody not knowing how to do something. It's basically a, a malicious entity behind the scenes because I can't call this a person. This is an entity. This is a demon. This is basically a demon trying to block your manifestations. This is a demon trying to block your opportunities, your offers, your, uh, 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 your like I said, your, your options, basically. Your manifestations, they're trying to block that. You're not dealing with a, per a person. You know how sometimes we say you're not dealing with a human. You are dealing with principalities. And these are demonic principalities that you are dealing with. So they don't have any limitations to what they will do or not do. Anything counts. They'll do anything to make sure you are not fulfilled in life. But you're going to have ultimate fulfillment. You have... Uh, an offer coming in to you that this person is in a lot of distress. They're trying to figure out a way on how to sabotage this, how to cause you a painful ending because we got the Ten of Swords to the Three of Swords uh, to the Three of Pentacles. Um, so they are working on how to keep some type of contract from being given to you. Uh, when it comes to like a, 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 an institution, this is a very successful institution or something like that. Um, but these people are working hard on how to keep you from receiving this contract, receiving this collaboration, uh, this offer, people working with you. And you got to feel, not even feel, you have to know that you are a force to be reckoned with when people will go to this extent to come together to try to block something for one person, try to destroy one person. But every time they try to do something, the universe steps in there and balances it, balances it out for them. So you got to know you are a force to be reckoned with. Because you know robbers, they don't rob empty houses. Like the universe is all over it. The universe has made some type of judgment that something is done. It's the end. Like the universe is causing a stalemate to these people as well. It's that we're done with this situation. We're going to wrap it up. It's all over. Like, you're at the end of some type of karmic chapter that was, that had to do with a lot of illusions about you. People are going to be forced uh, to go within and kind of think twice about what it is they've been indulged, dodging in, things they've been involving themselves in when it comes to tearing another person down. Because I feel like there are people in this situation that have kind of lost who they are. Like they just don't, like who they used to be and who they've become are two different people. Like when they look back, it's like, I would have never gotten involved in something like this in the past. But I think something has gone so long, gone on for so long that it's like, they kind of just feel stuck. And some of them may be binded as well, uh, bounded as well to this institute, not to this institution, to this situation. So there's some type of toxic, karmic or unhealthy alliance that was formed simply for the purpose of blocking you, sabotaging you, and things like that. There's, and people are walking away. There are people that are walking away, but there are still people that are involved in this situation. But I feel like there's specifically a Queen of Swords revert, reverse that is just very hateful. Like, this is an entity that is just... Like, this is not a person. 
This is a demon. And this is what I've been being guided to say. I don't typically like to refer to people as like as that. But this woman has to be like a demon or have some type of entity attached to her. Because this is somebody that likes empathy. Like this woman has like the eight of swords, ten of swords, five of pentacles, four of swords, and the devil around her. So this is not somebody that is like worth having a conversation with to try to mend something you're wasting your time and she got to three or like it's all negative cards around this woman all negative so this is not some something that you want to sit down and talk to this is not a person anymore demons are not people uh energy wise and things like that like I don't even know how to explain it. But this is not a thing that you want to sit down and have a conversation with. Trying to be diplomatic. This is not a diplomatic thing. This this is not a diplomatic thing. Like this is like a... a, a I don't... Like this is an empty vessel you're talking to. Like whatever you, you say may even go into one ear and out the other. Or it just doesn't even make it to any... It doesn't make it to them. So you're wasting your time. Like, you're wasting your time. Like, somebody's literally coming into your energy just to manipulate you, to keep you trapped, keep you confused, keep you blocked. Whoever that Knight of Cups is. And I don't think they're coming off of their free will. Somebody is sending them. Yeah. Somebody is sending them. Okay? These people want to keep stealing from you. They may be trying to come up with a new plan on how to take an Ace of Pentacles from you. It says somebody wants to surprise you. Like, when you... Uh, least expected, they're going to take something from you or they're going to try to take something from you. And this is someone stealing from you. Like, someone wants to have what it is that you have. They're obsessed uh, with taking something from you. It's not theirs. They didn't build it with you. They didn't have a hand in, in it at all. You build it by yourself. Or your success has nothing to do with this person. But they're, they're, they're under some type of uh, illusion that what it is you have belongs to you and them or they are entitled to it. They feel entitled to it. But it, it, it has not... Like a platform. Like I, I've mentioned on my platform, I built this sucker by myself. Like I've had two other platforms where somebody went and destroyed. So I got on here and built another one. Like I'm not somebody that... You're just going to push over, like, you're just going to knock down and I just stay down. Like, I'm always going to come up in some way or somehow. That's my contract. As long as I put in the effort, the universe meets me halfway every time. So, you're never going to just push me and I fall down and I'm, I'm just like, oh, well, you know, life is over now. I'm done. No, 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 no. I'm going to get up and go figure something out. So, two other platforms have been destroyed. Uh... I had a platform called Ascendant Masters, I believe, Ascendant Masters Tarot. And then I had a uh, TikTok with that name. And somebody went in there and destroyed it and locked me out of it, basically, right? So I said, let me go and build a different one. So I built this platform. It took off real quickly. Uh, and so whoever it is found out about it. And then they got in there and started tempering with it. But I was like, I'm not about to, like, just walk away from my work. This is my work, okay? Because, like, every time I build something, it's always thriving. So when you see some, like, my platform now being stuck at 3,500, somebody's tempering with it. Like, I know how my platform is supposed to be growing. I'm very abundant. Been always naturally abundant. Been always freaking protected. Been always supported by my, my uh... My, my lineage and the universe and my angels and things like that. So I don't never feel no ways about that. Like you're never going to come into my energy and be and tell me, oh, you know, it's okay. Everybody try. The social media thing is not for it. Nah, F you and your lineage. Nah, that's not what it is. I know exactly what is going on. I know exactly who's doing it. And it is what it is. When the time comes, we'll take, we'll take care of it like we're supposed to. Okay? So... Like, I, I'll get up and, and, and I'll always get up and build something. It's never going to be you just, oh, you're done. No, 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 no. The the battle just started. The war just started. For all I know. Okay? So, it's something like that. Like, you worked on something. You built something by yourself. Like, a platform like myself. Or you started a business by yourself. Selling products. Came up with a product. Came up with the ingredients and all of that. The, 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 the formula and things like that. And then somebody probably saw it and they got obsessed with it. 
they're obsessed with you, your work. How are you doing this? They don't know how to. They don't have the skills, talents, or maybe the abilities like I do. And they want to take it for themselves because they know it's something that's very abundant. Ten of Pentacles out here. So this is something that's very abundant, right? <clears throat> but you're not doing it for the money. You do it for the, the, the love of it. The impact it's going to have on people or it has on people. That's why you do it. Someone don't care about any of that. They just want it for the money. So they're working relentlessly. Like when I say somebody is obsessed, somebody's health has declined when it when uh, when it comes to how obsessed they are. They are, right? To having what belongs to you and they are never going to have it. This is this is yours. Like you built it. Whatever it, I don't know what it is. You could have written a book, came up with a speech. You could have came up with a company. You could have started uh, created some type of pro uh, product or something, innovated something. Maybe you got, you're supposed to get promoted and somebody's obsessed with your promotion. They don't want you to have it. Uh, so they're just out here doing any and everything to have you be rejected. I said it freaking, you're going to have ultimate fulfillment. It came out. Your 10 of cups is out here. So they're trying to steal your ace of pentacles which will lead to a ten of cups for you. You're going, Mimi, you're going to have it. It ain't nothing, man. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You are going to have what it is that's yours. You got the eight of pentacles, queen of swords, to the ten of cups. Man, come on. Come on. Why are you, why are you people wasting your time? And then you got people fighting behind the scenes and becoming to worse you to do you something, argue with you, uh, disturb your energy, disturb your peace. None of that is going to work. Like at this point of the game, it's like doing, like, it's like these people are broken records on repeat. It's like they're failing to learn the lessons in life. They say, oh, do this. You can do it as many times as you want. Someone ain't going nowhere. We're still going to be showing up. Like, ah, ta da, we're here. So keep on doing whatever it is you're doing. You're like I like you are you like you you dark insecure people. You take actions and you don't know the future. It don't matter how many practitioners you go to to get readings and predictions and things like that. We are the ones that know the future already. You have to go to someone else to get readings because this Queen of Swords I'm picking up on Queen of Swords Reverse. This is not a real uh, practitioner. This is someone that needs help. You go to get help. We don't need help. We already know what's going to happen to you. Like the karma coming for you. Like you're about to be getting a taste of your own medicine. The karma coming for you. Baby, we wouldn't wish it on our worst enemies. <clears throat> so you're taking all this uh, childish, immature behavior. This, these demonic uh, actions against somebody else. Because you're at this point, you're not a person. You're a thing. Uh... And you think it's going to make things go in your favor. Like, I can't live in a world where this person is fulfilled. I can't live in a world where this person is happy. They have abundance. Like, what does it got to do with you? You're sick. You're sick. You're obsessed with another person. You're stalking another person. You're stalking. You're a stalker. What are you doing? You want... There's a woman that wants people to see you as sick, but she's the one getting online and stalking you. She's the one paying, taking money out of her pocket to pay people to stalk you, to do you damage. You're sick. Logical people don't move that way. Logical people don't move that way. You tell someone with two senses to rub together, oh, I need you to go and block this person. I need you to go and bully this person. Don't look you up and down like the F are you talking to. Why? What made you think I want to be part of something stupid like that? Like you don't you like you lost your mind or something? Because something likes logic. It likes principle. It likes common sense. You you're sick. The word stupid was about to come out, but honey, it is what it is. This is like a different level of stupidity. You got a whole, like a whole clan of people that don't come together to, to sabotage one person to further a narrative that just ain't never going to stick. Like if we all said that this person is incompetent, then they're incompetent. That ain't how it works. At the end of the day, what the universe will do is have this person elevate right in front of you all. And then you're all looking stupid as heck. And said, oh, we accept that bribery to, to act like this person was dumb. But they're actually more intelligent than we are. You're liking common sense. You're stupid. 
It don't make no sense. You're doing all of this to somebody, and every time you see them, what are they? Right here. Balance. Secure about the universe. Still hopeful. Enthusiastic. Optimistic out here. Still connecting to source. And have a higher understanding, higher knowledge of what it is you're doing than what you're doing. How are you coming after somebody that knows your ending, knows your past, knows your life, knows your secrets? Everything you hide, they see. All the, 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 the traumas and stuff. All the secrets you're trying to hide. They see everything. Whoever this queen of swords reverses, man, this is someone that's just insecure. <clears throat> just very bitter and insecure. Nothing else. Like someone is so hateful. Like if you could see the hate, it would be like literally, you know how water be boiling when it's hot and stuff? That's how hateful something like it's just the hate is just boiling in this person. It don't even make no sense. This is her every night, every day, just worried about you having this new beginning, you having plans, you being successful, you being seen. Why is your life all about somebody else? Grow up. Grow up. This is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Why is your whole life centered around stopping somebody else? Exactly. Grow up. Your child is just heck. Still out here paying people. Like she's so angry that you're not in pain. You're not having a painful ending. She's going to pay somebody to come towards you to cause you some type of illusion or some to cause you some type of ending like all she's doing is trying to have like like somebody 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 says she will not be happy until you are flat out and she don't care how it happens whether it is you being uh, uh, on a live, you dishonor, whatever. Like if she could, like if somebody could watch, like your 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 essence, your substance, leave you, where you just gonna become, where you just become like a a, a a recluse, but in the worst way possible. Like you're so afraid, you're afraid of everybody, you're afraid of life, you're afraid of like nobody cares, honey. Grow up. You ain't never gonna live in a world where you see this person. Whoever this is, you're never going to live in a world where you see them in that energy. You, you're, not, you're not taking nobody out. You're not destroying anybody where they can't repair. They cannot be repaired. Nothing, honey. Someone is secure. They're protected. So you can keep being dumb as heck and taking your money and paying people to do this. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. But at the end of the day, what you're going to see is them out here in the sun. Abundant as can be, supported as can be, okay, supported. So I don't know what it is you you think you're doing. This woman is that someone is so afraid. It don't even make no sense. Just living with a lot of fear. What are their plans? Where are they going? Baby, this is your justice, and she is mad. Going to be mad, and you can stay mad. Just because just you're bitter don't mean other people don't deserve good things in life. Just because you're insecure don't mean people don't deserve good, good things in life. Just because you're hateful, just because you don't like yourself, dumb, it don't got nothing to do with anybody else. You need to go fix yourself. You need to go fix yourself. You hate yourself, not that person, but you're, 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 you're distorted. You don't realize that you hate yourself. Or you Actually, she knows. She knows. This isn't somebody that likes herself. Because people that like themselves don't even move this way. People that have common sense don't move this way. They some I don't know that, that I don't know who this like this woman, like I've seen these people's faces. Not all of them, but I've seen their faces. It it don't make no sense to be this hateful in life. Especially when someone hasn't done anything to you. You just hate them because they're pretty. You just hate them because they're skilled. You're not skilled. You just hate them because people like them. Because, because people see them as a healer. Because people feel happy around them. They make people happy. 
Uh, you want people to see them as uh, delusional, mentally unstable. Like a star seed, this kind of woman, she wants you to be seen as you're, you're, you're delusional. You don't know what you're talking about. You're mentally ill. People don't need to take you seriously. People should want to distance themselves from you. Like, nah, you're delusional. It's never this serious. It's never this serious. It's an institution involved in this nonsense too. It's never this serious. I don't know if they thought if they backed one of theirs up and a uh, masculine would see things their way. It's not going that way. It's, it was never meant to go that way. And that's I think that's the truth because I just split my deck on the ace of swords. This institution or this family thought if we back one of ours up and we make him or her think that she, that, that this karmic feminine is the actual empress, he's going to fall for it and he's going to give her the opportunity. Meanwhile, the whole time they're blocking you behind the scenes, destroying your work, trying to make you seem inadequate and unfit. Everywhere you go, they're stalking you and following you. Because they want something to, to, to they want something to come across as being truth. They're trying to thwarter a narrative. So they they have to be consistent with something. It's like everywhere you go, we're gonna cause problems so people can eventually see that you are the problem. But it ain't working out. This has never happened before. They've done this before, but it's never played out this way. Everybody else has just broken down, either given up, moved on, or something. But nah, it wasn't supposed to go this long, this far. It said, just keep going. He's going to give up. She's going to, no, honey, they ain't giving up. Eight of Pentacles, discipline, determination. You're coming after someone that's in a queen of swords energy, man or woman. They ain't going nowhere. Like, you'll roll over in your grave before you see this person and say they're, never, they're not going to do their job. They're not going to follow their passion. They're not going to keep healing. Because it's a star sea energy, so baby, what the, the the tools that they need is within them. They need to heal; those qualities are within them. The ability to heal is within that person, so they don't need to, you know, rely on somebody else to validate them. They validate themselves. The universe validates that person. God validates that person, not you or anybody else around. So you like, I, I, what are we doing here again? What are we doing here? Someone is moving forward victoriously. And there ain't nothing you can do about that. But sit down and be and be bitter <clears throat> at your old age. I always hear there's somebody that has a problem with how some of us practitioners do our job, how we talk, and we don't give to us. Go heal somewhere. Go heal. Because when you heal, you'll see the problem with what's going on. The problem with you clicking on that person's platform and thinking that you can have control over how they talk and how they do things and how they... Go heal. F you and go heal. You and your lineage. You're old, bitter, and just bruised for no reason in life. Yeah, exactly. Whoever is coming towards you is going to have to move on. That Knight of Cups that's coming in to gaslight you, obsessed with taking from you, stealing from you, and things. They're going to have to walk away because, baby, I, I said it right. I said this person either is not going to make it to you or if they make it to you, they're going to have to walk away. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Eight of Cups, like go self-actualize. Go, go, go home, sit down in your closet or something. Think about what it is you did. Put yourself in time out. The universe is putting you all in time out one at a time. But put yourself in a time out. What am I doing here? Why did I think that that was going to work? Because we obviously know this person is not who we put them out to be. So why would I even think that this is going to work? Okay? You're putting... Like someone is obsessed with causing you deception. Scheming you, isolating you. It's a group of people. They want you to be seen as an outcast. She's not like us. He's not like us. Yeah, they're damn skippy. They're not like you. They're not bitter like you. They're not insecure like you. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. 100. We support you on that. They're not like you. They're you. 
They're pragmatic. Okay? They're, they're, they're assertive. They're confident. Things that you're not. They're gifted. They're talented. They're skilled. They're creative. Things you're not. So, yeah, you're right. You're 100% right. They're not like you. And that star seems probably sitting there somewhere in that Kendrick Lamar vibe. They're not like us. They're not like us. They're not like us. Yeah, you're, you're not like the star sea, and the star sea is not like you either. You're right. Talking about they don't belong here. Now, you don't belong there. You're around people that are gifted and talented and people that are skilled with a lot of dreams and want to move forward with those dreams. But your insecure self don't know how to do any of that, be any of that. So what it is, is you're blocking people. Futures. Because your actions aren't just affecting you. They're affecting the people that, in, that work in that institution. Is that I don't want to see this person happy. We got to do this so that we make sure they don't, they don't receive any type of fulfillment. They cannot be content in life. Da, 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 Someone wants to come into your energy and pretend to be single. They're not single. They're obligated. They're obligated behind the scenes. Maybe, maybe some, some, of, some of you, this person coming towards you may have somebody pregnant. And they want to come towards you and give you an offer. You're a whole empress and this is a knight of cups coming towards you. Wanting to pretend like they're single. Or they may be trying to sneak away from a relationship. Right? And come have ultimate fulfillment or wish fulfillment with you. You're probably going to bombast this out eye this person. Like, what? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Listen, somebody is trying to figure out your plans. They said, where are they going? What what are what are they what are their new plans for their future? What are they doing? Who are they working with? Who's partnering up with them? Are they dating? Who are they dating? We need to find out so we can destroy it. And it's like whatever you are about to do, it ain't gonna lead to nothing. Even if there, let's say there's another Knight of Cups that wants to come into somebody's energy that is abs actually genuine and does actually have love for this Empress energy. And you go to them and say, oh, you know, don't talk to them. They're mentally unstable. I don't know if you know this about them. I'm just trying to protect you. I'm just trying to give you the heads up. Baby, that ain't for no work. You're going to be wasting your time. Because that person is still planning on ha having ultimate fulfillment with that Empress energy. Maybe there's, maybe you may have two different Knight of Cups. One needs to heal and the other one is coming towards you. One is hopeful to have a new beginning with you. I, I, I've never seen this. A bunch of just bitter people. Why is why why is the world filled with bitter people? But they think that that's the normal way to be. It's not normal to be this bitter in life. It's not normal to be this angry and hateful in life. It's not normal to have this amount, this level of animosity towards other people. It's not normal. That's why we have so much problem in the world today. People don't have empathy or sympathy for other people they just get out here and do whatever it is they want to do oh it's me or you no it don't it don't gotta be me or you it's enough to go around for everybody go focus on yourself and build on, on your own or something if somebody want to partner up partner up with you then you look into it if it's applicable if it's if, if, if it's feasible that you work with them if it's beneficial that you work with them then yeah, you do it. If you don't feel like you two will be great together, you tell them diplomatically. I don't think right now we can work together. I don't think at this moment it's beneficial for you and I to work together. We're not on the same page yet. Maybe in the future when things change, we can reconsider this situation. What's wrong with that? You'll find somebody else that wants to work with you. You want to work with the company, you reach out to them because a, a lot of influencers go, go through this. And I'm just using them as an example. A lot of influencers, they see companies they want to work with. They reach out to them, the companies don't respond. That's okay. Try the next company. Keep trying until you find a company that want to work with you. But to be this hateful, 
It, it don't make no sense. It's a you incarnated just to be hateful. You were born just to be hateful. That's what that, that, that's that's it. You wake up every day just to be hateful. Just to just to block other people, just to destroy other people's lives and futures. That's why you were born. It's not normal to be hateful. It's not normal to be insecure. It's not normal to be bitter. It's not normal to have low self-esteem to the point where you think other people are the problems in your life and you fail to take accountability for your actions. It's not normal. I don't care how much or how long you want to project onto somebody else. Your, your responsibility, your accountability is still yours. So I don't care what your mommy did to you did, did to you when you were a kid. When you get older, it's your responsibility to take actions to heal, to fix it. You can't go around your whole life, oh, my mom did this to me. Oh, my daddy did this to me. Oh, my grandma did. Cut it. Everybody, Because everybody you see around you, somebody did something to them. Oh, they bully me in school. They call me this in school. I don't feel pretty enough. That's you. That don't got nothing to do with somebody else. You're mad because somebody's... I keep hearing it. There's someone that's pissed off because a woman is beautiful. And a man is attracted to her. What does that got to do with you? You're pissed off because someone finds another person attractive. You're pissed off because you don't look like another woman. What is... You chose how to look. You're playing with black magic. So since you're into magic, let me explain it to you. Before you come here, you choose everything that I, there is about yourself. How you look, how tall you are, what complexion you are. Your destiny, your karma. You choose everything. But when you come here and decide to take a different path, that's your that's your problem too. That's your business. That's your choice. So you chose how you will look and somebody else chose how they will look. If you find them to be very beautiful and their beauty pisses you off, baby, baby we can't help you with that. We can't help you with that. You're screaming, I'm insecure at the top of Mount Everest. It just so happened that whoever you are you are, are coming after can't hear you, don't care to hear you because they're too focused on themselves. So maybe the people around you up there, maybe you took a group of people with you on Mount Everest, meaning a group of people decided to sacrifice themselves with you. They can hear you. You don't know that they can hear you. Maybe you snuck away to say, I'm insecure. Da, da, da. Maybe you don't think they can hear you, but they can hear you. Meaning, ma'am, people can see your insecurities loud and clear. People know exactly why you're doing something. You are insecure. You are bitter. But all of those things that you are got nothing to do with this energy. You see this energy here? Nothing to do with them. You see how they're focused on their environment, pouring into the environment. That's what they are. And it don't matter how you see that person, how you want that person to be seen. You can tell the whole institution that that star C is not a star C. You can get out here and start you a revolution because that's basically what you try to do is cause a uh, wreckage and mayhem in this person's life. At the end of the day, when you see that star C, there's going to be a star seed. They're still going to be in that energy. And you're going to stay mad for the rest of your life. Because these kind of people, they're not focused on what people think about them. As a matter of fact, what you think of them is irrelevant. They have that sort of FU mentality. Spiritual people have that about them. They don't, it's not like a, oh, F you, F, F you. Hey, F, no, it's nothing like that. It's just like, yeah, F you. They don't see it that way because basically what they do is they, they don't pay you no mind. Because every time you open your mouth, they already know what the problem is with you. They know what you need to work on. Every time you do something, 
they already know what's wrong with you. And maybe they're even saying a, 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 a prayer for you. Or they're saying, while you're doing something, they're probably, while you're doing something negative, they're probably sending you positive energy because you need to, you, you need, you need to help. You need the help desperately. You desperately need help. It don't make no sense. And I, like I said, when I started doing my reads, I said, is this a real a real situation? Like, but it had to take time for it to get to this point where like I'm seeing these people's faces. Who's doing what? So maybe the universe was wanting me to do something blindly for a while. If I could use stories to kind of, kind of to add their, you know, realistic energy to it so that it's relatable, I do that. But now I feel like the journey is at a point where it's like something is current energy. Something has become a little bit too intense for somebody. Someone is sick behind the scenes. And I'm talking mental illness too. Because they've lost control of themselves. They're so like desperate to destroy another person you're sick it's a mental illness it don't matter what you do someone will still be moving forward victoriously darling you're wasting your time everything you are doing is a failure it's the end all your negativity your you, you wake up literally every day just choosing to be bitter broken insecure a failure it don't matter how much money you have in life when you are not happy in life you're just not happy money don't buy happiness and i don't care what people say people that think that money buy happiness are people that have not done that inner work that means that their happiness is conditional oh if when i have a million dollars in my bank account i'll be happy when they get that million dollar they, they're even more miserable than they were before they had the million dollar because you're not content within thyself you don't know thyself you're uncomfortable with thyself you're still holding on to baggages from the past so every day you wake up and take actions against other people because you need to feel some type of satisfaction. You need to feel like you have some type of power or authority over somebody else. And you don't. You don't. You you clearly don't have power or authority over yourself. So how are you going to have that over somebody else? You need help. You are sick. So a queen of pentacles may be confessing what it is she's been doing out here. How she's been investing in taking somebody else down. Causing illusions and things like that. Or this is what's coming up. Maybe you don't got no choice. Because you stand to lose everything. You're all... Like there's something where it's like a... a, a, a there's a community or a group of people that want like work or uh, practitioners to speak a certain kind of way. Do things... Uh, F you all. We're going to do our work the way we're told to do it. How we're supposed to do it. Kick rocks and throw peppers. Okay. She's going to end up confessing what it is she's been doing. You're going to tell the truth. And while you're doing that, somebody else, whoever you've been trying to destroy, is going to be having a brand new passionate beginning and, and continuing to invest in their future, in their calling, on their life path, their purpose. But you are going to confess with your mouth what it is you've been doing, what you've done behind the scenes. As I have said, so shall it be. You are going to confess. It's like, oh no, they didn't do anything to me. It doesn't belong to me. I just wanted it because of the money. I was just jealous of this person. That's why I came out and tried to destroy them. Yes, I've been blocking them. Yes, I'm really insecure about what it is that uh, they do. They're very talented and gifted. And I feel intimidated by them. You're going to confess everything that you've been doing and have done to somebody. Because you're scared to lose everything. <coughs> you're 
Yep. How you've been working with a king of cups behind the scenes to stop somebody, interfere with somebody's decisions, love offers and things like that. Stop some type of love from taking place, some type of generosity from taking place. You're going to confess about what you've been invested in with a king of cups. Because the two of you have been working together for a long time. To block ultimate fulfillment for two people. Two people from working together. Again, why? Because you're insecure and bothered by another energy. I don't know if you're somebody's wife. And you've, you're just bothered by somebody else. By, by a, 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 a single energy. You, you don't like the other end. You don't like the star scene. And nobody cares you don't like them. Nobody cares you don't like them. Okay? Nobody cares you don't like them. I don't know if you, 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 you give a promotion to a king of cups to work against a king of pentacles and a queen of wands to make sure that they don't come together or something like that. To make sure that it don't go towards a queen of wands. It said whatever it is you do, make sure he does not go towards her. He doesn't give her this contract. You've been working this from behind this. This is probably somebody's wife. Uh, just maybe somebody's uh, mother. I don't know who this is. But somebody in the company has been doing this. Working, paying a king of cups to do something for a long time. So... The truth is going to be coming out about this King of Cups. Or somebody already has some type of illumination about this King of Cups. Like somebody's about to be... Like I see someone that's about to be like being watched while he's doing something. And he don't know that he's being watched. It's like you're sitting down and doing something. And you don't know your boss is looking at you. You don't know like a police officer is looking at you. Uh -huh. You don't know your teacher is looking at you. The, you, you, you. You don't know who's looking at you, but they can see you doing something. They're just flabbergasted. They say, I'll be darn. You want to tell me this is the mother ever that's been doing this stuff this whole time? You, you're stealing from somebody? That's what's about to happen. This is somebody's boss that's about to see them. And I don't know if like they have some type of uh, familiarity between them, the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. There's some type of familiarity between these two, so they could they, they could be like friends, but they work together. The King of Cups could work for the King of Pentacles. This King of Cups is going to be forced to be practical about a situation. It's that like you're not getting your results that you you thought you were going to get. Someone could even have legal issues coming in, whoever this King of Cups is. King of Pentacles, I don't know what this is. But something is going to be like, it's going to be balanced out. They are literally, they're trying to keep this King of Pentacles from going towards somebody, a Queen of Wands. They said, don't get, we got to make sure he don't go towards her with this contract. Let's get in there and interfere. Let's get in there and make sure that we cause problems. Because this is all they know how to do. And it's all out of it. It's, just, it's this queen of pentacles that's behind it. You got the queen of swords doing her own thing too. They're just a bunch of bitter people. Trying to steal from somebody. Because they want to live a good life. They want to live a bougie life at the detriment of somebody. Ooh, why are you just focused on something? You want to have something. Let's say you want to have a platform. Go learn the skills that you need per the niche. You want to do cooking? Go learn how to cook. Heck, you can, even, you can make that a, a thing on your channel. You're learning how to cook. Learn how to cook on your channel so that when your channel gets to where you want it to be, People have a history to look at. That like, dang, this is where she started, this is where he started, and this is where they are now. But how dare you go out try to take from somebody else? Something they've worked hard to build by themselves. Tears, blood, sweat, everything into it. But because you are greedy, you're insecure and bitter as heck, you wanna you you feel entitled to it. Don't got nothing to do with you. They didn't have a hand in doing anything with the the, the, the the business or whatever it is. 
go build your own. But this is someone that, that has not invested in any skills, in any talents, abilities, nothing. So she don't even know what she's capable of doing. So literally, this is somebody that don't know who she is. But she wants to be able to have control over people. I don't. I think this is somebody's wife because she consistently shows up as the Queen of Pentacles. This could be somebody's wife, uh, somebody's business partner. The complete opposite of what she's supposed to be. How are you going to be a Queen of Pentacles when you don't got no skills, no people skills, no talent, nothing? All you know is you got a position. You got a title. You have a status. But you, you, you don't even have the skills necessary for that status. For that title. For that position. It's all about how it looks. You got karma coming in. Anything you've done to a light worker is going to be done to you. Anything you try to manifest for them is going to be happening to you. It's happening to you. You're probably the one losing your mind behind the scenes. Angry as can be. <sighs> it was not supposed to be this way. Why are they still going? You hear yourself? Do you, like, I wish, like, I wish, like, a clown would see themselves sometimes when they're being a clown. Like, it, it just looks so goofy. You need to, like, see yourself and actually analyze the things that you do. And see how idiotic it comes across. I'm going to pretend to be them. I'm going to steal from them. I'm going to live off of them. And I'm going to pretend to be them. How, how, for, how long did you think that was going to go on? How long? Like you just feel comfortable stealing from people and going to bed at night. Because all you care about is money. As long as you get the money. You've been trying to steal from someone too. From an institution. You've been working hard trying to steal from an institution. Trying to steal an offer, a new beginning from somebody else. Trying to steal money from... I don't know if there's something about... I keep hearing this misappropriation of funds. So somebody has been using business funds for personal uh, reasons. Someone has been misusing business funds fundings misappropriation of funds so maybe if she's paying people to to stalk you block you bully you and things like that she's paying them with the company's money being misusing business money for personal reasons that's misappropriations of funds that don't got nothing to do with the business he said oh i want to go on a vacation Got access to the company credit card and bank account. Buys herself a ticket. Oh, I don't want this person to be seen. Swipes the credit card or, you know, wire transfer the money. Why are you, why are you this dumb? Why are you this insecure? Why are you this bitter in life? I never understand. And you want to have someone like stuck in like a five of pentacles going through a ten of, I mean, you, yeah, going through a ten of swords. Baby, no. Wherever somebody, it don't matter what it is you are doing. Someone is always going to be given options by the source of all that is and ever will be. It's a, oh, it's okay, child. They take that. We got this for you. You don't get it. And the reason why it's not set up for you that way. It's because of your nasty energy you have. Your nasty mentality. That's why it don't work out for you that way. That's why you have to get up and steal. You have to manipulate. You got to try to seduce people to get things out of them. You try to seduce somebody and he ain't even paying you. No, You're in front of somebody. Now, I don't know if this is somebody's wife or whoever this is. You're trying to seduce a masculine so he can make some type of decision based off of lust. He ain't paying you no mind. The way you carry yourself 
this man probably don't even find attractive. It's like a skimpy person trying to seduce a man that prefer, prefers a traditional person. Someone that's covered up. Got clothes on. So it's like you, you, you've missed the mark. You don't understand why you're not able to seduce this person. Someone finds modest women to be sexy. He don't care about the skimpy skirts, crop tops, and all of that. He likes a woman that carries herself with modesty. Got a brain. Determined in life. Okay? I heard indep like independence. Like, they're not out looking for him. Out saying, like, someone is a self... He likes people that are self-starter because these are... This is like a business person. So, obviously, if you're a, star, a self-starter, that means that you bring something to the table. You are innovative. You pour into the things and peoples and places around you that matter to you. So, you are innovative. That means he can make money with you. You bring something to the table. But here comes Miss Skimpy Skirt. Don't know that this man don't care about she and her skimpy skirt. Because she, she don't bring nothing to the table he's looking for. No qualities, no attributes, no nothing. No ideas, nothing. Just stealing from people and pretending like it's theirs. It's hers. So, there's something where, like, there's a distance between she and this masculine. So, it may get to a point where she's not even able to come to around this man. Like, she'll try to come have a conversation with him. She's not able to get to him. It's like you're in the same room with somebody, but you might as well be like planets or galaxies apart. You can't reach them. You can't talk to them. You can't even say hi. They're not returning your messages. They're not returning your emails. Text, call, they're not responding to nothing. Because you did something that pissed this person off. You misrepresented their company, what they stand for. Because something you've been doing, somebody don't stand for it. There's an emperor that does not stand for it. He does not stand for it. And maybe he's found out and he's kind of just disgusted by the whole situation. Like, why would you do something like this? Pissed off. Because this is somebody that's business-minded. You're more so still in your little girl era. Oh, I don't like her, so I'm not, I'm not going to let her come in. This, you're, it's a business. That's not your house. At your house, you can do that. At your house, you can say, nah, she can't come to my house. I don't like her. Why? It don't matter. That's justifiable. It's your house. It's justifiable. You don't want them there for no reason. No reason at all. That's your house. But at a business, a company, nah, baby, that ain't how it works. You can't just say, I don't want her here. I don't want him here. And they say, why? Oh, I don't know. I don't like her. I just don't, I just don't like her. I just think, I just don't think, I just, no, 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 hold on, little Susie. That ain't how it works. Okay? That is not how it works. So, you don't set yourself up to lose everything in life because of your hate for somebody else. Everything you try to take from somebody, you're going to lose. Everything you try to manifest for somebody, you're going to lose. You're around people, like the, the, the people you've been working with to destroy something, they only want to be around you when you are winning. If you're not winning, they don't want nothing to do with you. And then the rest of the folks in this institution don't even know what it is you've been up to. Find out what you've been up to. Shocked to their core. Ancestors gasping with them. Like, oh, we are appalled at you, little Susie. This is how you move out here? It's probably somebody that comes across as very innocent, soft-spoken, mild manner, never loses their temper. This is unhinged behind the scenes. Like, if you saw this person losing their temper, you would think, like, they were going through, like, some type of exorcism. Like, something, like, a demonic entity was coming out of them, or they were a demonic entity. 
Like that queen of swords reversed that. I'm sorry. That's not a person. That's an entity we're dealing with. Anyways. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.